Welcome to the Kiel Nano Lab. The magnetoelectric sensors are fabricated in the clean room of the Kiel Nano Lab. We use MEMS and thin film deposition techniques to process many sensors on one wafer. The surface acoustic wave sensors are based on a piezoelectric substrate. An acoustic wave is generated by applying a voltage at one interdigital transducer electrode. The wave travels along a delay line and is read out by a second interdigital structure. We will now show you the fabrication process of such sensors. In the first step, the material for the IDTs is deposited on the piezoelectric substrate. This is, in our case, chromium and gold. In the next step, this material has to be structured. For this, we use a photolithography process. The wafer is covered with a photosensitive resist layer by spin coating. A soft bake step removes the residual solvent. The wafer is inserted to the mask aligner and the photosensitive layer is exposed to UV light. The mask protects some areas from being exposed and by this the structure is transferred from the mask to the wafer. Our mask aligner has a resolution below 1 micron and an alignment precision of 500 nanometers can be achieved. Also, a backside alignment is possible. To solve the exposed parts of the resist, the wafer is put into a developer bath and afterwards cleaned with deionized water and spin dried. The hard bake step is for stabilizing the resist for the next process. The pattern is transferred to the metallic layer by ion beam etching. The wafer is bombarded with an ion beam and the metal is removed where there is no resist. The process can be observed by a secondary ion mass spectrometer. By this, the endpoint can be detected. The resist mask must be removed afterwards. This can be done in an ultrasonic bath of warm acetone. The interdigital structures are finished now. The next layer is needed to guide the acoustic wave near the surface for a high sensitivity of the sensor. An amorphous silicon dioxide layer of several microns is deposited by plasma-enhanced chemical vapor deposition. In a second lithography step, a resist mask for the guiding layer is produced. The second mask must fit very precisely to the first metallic structure. The oxide layer is etched by dry etching with an inductively coupled plasma reactive ion etching. This involves a chemical reaction etching with a physical ion bombardment, which results in a high etch rate. The resist mask is removed and a protection resist layer is applied. The wafer is cut into single chips with a dicing saw. The last step of the sensor fabrication is the deposition of the sensitive layer. An amorphous metallic layer is used. It is deposited by magnetron sputter deposition. Our sputter device has two built-in magnetic rings. This allows to set a magnetically preferred orientation already during sputtering. Single chips as well as wafers up to six inches can be sputtered. The sensitive layer is structured as shown before by a third lithography step and an ion beam etching. The sensor chips are now ready to be mounted on a circuit board.